Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how to make a punching script where you first do a left punch and then a right punch. Alright, without wasting your time, let's get right into this. Alright, so first off, we're gonna go into the starter players and go into starter character scripts. Click the plus sign and add a local script. Rename this script to punching script. Once you've done that, close the script and press the plus sign on the punching script. Add an animation, then duplicate that. Rename one animation to right punch. Rename the other animation to left punch. Alright, because I don't want to publish this game, I'm going to be doing R15. But if you wish to do R6, then like in my last video, just check that out to see how. Alright, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and go into the script. First type local character equals script.parent local humanoid equals character colon wait for child humanoid. Alright. Then local mouse equals game dot players dot local player colon get mouse. Okay. Once we've done that, let's address the animations. So local left punch equals script colon wait for child left punch and copy that and paste on line seven. And then rename the every left you see to right. Right punch and right punch. Right, now let's get the right arm so that when it touches it does damage. Local right lower arm equals character colon wait for child right lower arm now copy this and paste on line 10 and rename to left lower arm left uh, lower arm and left lower arm again all right now that we've done that we have to add a cooldown so local punched equals false local side equals false. Okay, so side is whether you're doing left or right. Punched is whether there's a cooldown. Right, let's get into the scripting now. First off, mouse dot button one down colon connect function. And in these brackets you can leave them fine. If punched equals false and side equals false then else if and then copy this and paste that there and change punched no change side to true then oops okay then this line should come if you've done it properly okay now in the side equals false if type side equals true and punched equals true. Next, copy that same thing and instead write side equals false, punched equals true. All right, now let's do the animating. Local animation equals um, humanoid colon load animation a uh, left left punch animation colon play all right and now that we've done that we just go to 
um, toolbox and change models to audio. And let's search up a punch audio. Punch sound effect. Alright, let's see. Punch it! Um, okay. Alright, that's good. Now just click on that and it should go into the thing you've highlighted or workspace. Workspace. Just drag it down into Punch's script and rename it to Sound or whatever you want. Okay, now down here do script dot sound colon play. All right, now we're gonna do the damage. Okay, left lower arm dot touched colon connect function. Oops, colon connect function. Local human equals oh guys in between these brackets you have to type hit so that the hit is what we touched when we were in when you punch when you touch a surface this connects and the function what you put in here is what you hit and we named that hit so local human equals hit dot parent colon find first child brackets humanoid then one line on line 27 type if human oops if human then oh and guys we're gonna add another local local damage equals false Okay, now we're gonna make it so that damage is true. Otherwise, when even when you're walking around and not punching, you'll still do damage. So put damage equals true. If human and damage equals true. And remember the two brackets because that means is equal to and one is, one equal is equal damage equals true or damage is equal to true. If human and damage e equals to true, then human colon take damage, which makes it take damage, makes the player or dummy you hit take damage. Brackets, and then we type in the damage we want. I'm gonna put 0 0.1 because, oh wait, no, we don't have to do that this time. So human e take damage one. And then damage equals false. Okay, now we're going to go to here to the close this, and then we're going to go to the line 43. We're going to type in animation dot stopped colon connect function. Uh, wait um, 0 0.2 um, punched equals false that means we're removing the cooldown so you can punch again now all we have to do here is copy everything here copy all this oops copy and then we can paste that into the else if but just change this to right punch uh, and we're done oh wait you have to change left lower arm to right lower arm and then we're done all right so now we just have to add the animations for the sake of the shortness of this video I'll get some from the toolbox but if you wish me to show you how to animate then just put in the comment section and I'll make sure to get right to it all right so let's search right punch right let's play this okay it's not very beautiful but we'll take it and press export submit copy the ID 
close that, we can delete that and paste it into right punch animation ID. And now let's get the left punch. Okay. Let's play that. Same animation. Export. Submit. Copy the ID. Close that and delete it. And paste that into animation ID of left punch. Alright, now we should be done here. Let's test it out. Don't mind these, they're not part of our script. As you can see, it's working. The only thing is that um, the animations don't look very nice. Otherwise, it would be much nicer. Um, let me just grab a... Uh, a thing that we can hit to show the damage. Okay, now let's test again. As you can see, we're doing very little damage, but we are make causing the play the dummy to take damage. So let's increase the damage to at least ten. Now let's test again. As you can see we do damage. Oh yeah, and I only increased the damage of one arm by accident. Alright. So, I guess that's it then. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video too. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.